All righty, my man. We're going to go straight into questions. D, we're going to start with David Lake from Inside the U. David, if you had a question for D. Hey, D, you, you showed last year you're definitely one of the top deep ball guys on the team. I'm, I'm curious on your take uh, on how good of a deep ball Derek King can throw. And, you know, what's maybe the, the furthest you've seen him launch a ball in practice that you can remember? Uh, I can't remember, but, I mean, I know it's plus 60, so – I mean, he's very accurate. He's a very great quarterback. He's a leader. I mean, that's what we need. So, yeah. D, we got Susan Miller-Degnan from the Miami Herald. Susan, if you had a question for D. Hey, D. Hey. Um, wondering about your expectations for opening night. Um, what do you think it's going to be like for you? You know, how do you think you'll be feeling emotionally? And I have a follow-up after that. Honestly, I feel like I'm going into the opening game with, with a, a very confident mindset, ready to go. I mean, as a team, I mean, we, we ready. We ready to play ball and show everybody what we got. Okay, and then uh, the other thing is how strange has this whole offseason been for you? And what do you think the craziest part of all this has been? I mean, I mean, 2020 has been strange for everybody. So, I mean, we just have to work through it. I mean... Come, come here every morning with a good, with good energy. Work hard, do whatever we gotta do. I mean, and, and take day by day, take one day at a time. Does this team feel different from from last year's team? You know, do you feel a different? Yes, ma'am. The, the 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 difference I feel in between this team and last year's team is the energy. I mean, every everyone has good energy, great energy. Everyone's coming in with confidence. Everyone's competing. So, so yeah. Thank you. D, we're going to go to Chris Stock from inside the U. Chris, if you had a question for D. Yeah, D, uh, you've gone against DJ Ivy in the offseason. You guys trained together uh, there at the park. Just maybe what you've seen from him going against him in practice, um, what, what it's been like and maybe differences from a year ago. I'm sharper eye. So, I mean, DJ, a, he's, a, he's, a, he's, a, he's, a, he's a tremendous cornerback. Like, he's a hard cornerback to go against in practice. He's long. So, I mean – I have to put in extra work to, 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 to get by him and, you know, do these things like that. But DJ is a great cornerback and he gets me better and we get each other better. So, and I learned a lot of, and I learned a lot of things, you know, with cornerbacks. He tells me when, when, when I'm doing wrong, you know, and I tell him when he's doing wrong. So we teach each other the game. Great. D, we're going to go to Tom D'Angelo from the Palm Beach Post. Tom, if you had a question for D. Hey, D. D, what are the, uh, What's the biggest difference for you uh, in this offense compared to last year? And what do you think the uh, you guys are looking forward to most? What are you most most excited about being in this offense? Like the difference between this offense, I feel I feel I feel more confident, you know, with the with with what we got going on out there. So 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 yeah, I feel very confident. What about what what about uh, what? What excites you most uh, as far as, is, you know, more plays, um, being wide open, things like that? Letting the ball go, spreading it out. Thanks. D, we got, D, we got David Ferronis from the Sun Sentinel. David, if you had a question for D. Hey, D, you, you've known Pope for a long time. Uh, what do you see in him and the way he's approaching this season coming up? Like I said, I mean, me and Pope, me and Pope, you know, we, we always hang out, you know, outside of football. So, I mean, he tells me, like, he tells me all the time, like I say, like, confidence. Like, confidence takes you a long way. And once you have confidence and you know what you're doing, you play fast. When you play fast, you, you, you're very accurate in what you do. D, we're going to Manny Navarro from The Athletic. Manny, if you had a question for D. Hey, D, you know, last season when you go back and you look at your, your individual season, I know every game you didn't necessarily get a lot of balls thrown your way, but when you did – you made some big plays like Florida State, Louisville. How do you sort of become a more consistent guy? What what was missing last year as far as consistency for you, and what can you do to become more consistent? I mean, every every chance that I get, I mean, I had to I had to I had to play at a hundred percent. You know, I mean, I, I ain't get too many chances, but every chance that I did get, you know, uh, I did it. Did you talk With about confidence. that? Yeah, did you talk about that all with Coach Likens? I mean, did you reach out to anybody this offseason to talk about how to become more consistent and, and maybe always bring that sort of attitude every single Saturday? Is that something you sought for? Yes, I have. I have had, uh, asked Coach Likens that, like, you know, what can I bet on? What, what can I do better? You know, he said I could better my release and stuff like that. 
And yeah, I mean, he, he, he tell me every time details, details. Thank you. Great. D, we got time for a couple more. We're going to go to Daryl Streeter at Footballville. Sure. Daryl, if you had a question for D. Hey, what's going on? This uh, Footballville. We've covered you since you were in high school, um, and now you're an upperclassman at University of Mi uh, Miami. Uh, does anything feel different this year um, when it comes to the, the offense or, or, or having Derrick King as a quarterback? Does, does it feel different going into the future? Yeah, it feels very different. The atmosphere different. I mean, the team different. I just feel like every like everybody on the team ready to play ball and and ready to show out. I mean, show everybody what we can do. D, we're gonna go to Chris Perkins of Sports Illustrated. Chris, if you had a question for D. Hey D, kind of along those lines, I'm I'm wondering if there's any more pressure on this team this season than any of your previous seasons. I mean, you know the reputation of the U and everything like that, and where you guys have been. How how does it feel coming into this season? I can't tell you like competing wise. You know the younger guys that came in, the freshmen. I mean, they they made me they made me take my game to a ne another level. You know, made me work harder, made me watch film even more. You know. Like made me do my reps like at a hundred percent every every rep. So, so yeah, the, I, I think the freshmen, you know, and I think Coach Likens, you know, for 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 putting that pressure on us, you know, so on the older guys. So I mean, that's what we need to, you know, focus up more and, and get better day by day. And, and do you do you ever feel pressure from the outside, from fans or from ex UM players that you talk to? Did, did did they put pressure on you at all? Oh, not at all, not at all. I mean. It's football. I mean, that's what it comes with. But I mean, you just gotta stay focused. I mean, once you get knocked off your off your focus, off your off your laser eye focus, I mean, that's when you start to you know be everywhere. So you just gotta stay focused. You can't let the outside predict what you're gonna do on the field. You gotta you know what you're doing. You know, like I say, you get, goes back to knowing your plays, being confident. You just gotta leave the outside where it's at because they gonna talk. They talk. You know, they don't know what's going on on the inside. So yeah. Great. D, this is the last one. David Wilson from the Miami Herald. David, if you had a question for D. Hey, D. Um, kind of the big refrain we've been hearing from the coaches on offense a lot, and Coach Lashley was talking about today, was just making it so you guys don't have to think so much and, and can play full speed. Do, do you feel like this offense does that, at least from what you've seen in practice so far? Do you feel more comfortable and all that kind of stuff in it? I feel way more comfortable. We're moving fast. We're getting a lot of plays in, and I just, I'm just ready. I'm just ready to go. Everyone talks about how it's kind of like what guys run in high school, particularly down here. Does it feel similar to what you did in high school or, or even just like kind of similar? Like I mean, it's, it's something, it's something similar, similar like to me playing like high school, you know, the play calling. But, I mean, it's way faster in college. You know, the game speed way different. So, yeah. Great. D, thanks for spending a couple minutes with us. And I'm sure we'll be talking to you soon. Thank you, guys.